everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I have a wedding card for you um, using one of my favorite bundles, the So Sentimental. I love the fonts, um, the size of the fonts, but I also am just in love with these dies. Um, I love the scalloped rectangles that have the stitching and then all of these label dies. So we are going to create um, this beautiful wedding card. I am using Purple Posy Old Olive and Petal Pink on today's project. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, if you are, if you do have a long Stampin' Up! wish list or have been thinking about joining Stampin' Up! let me tell you about that real quick because um, we have a great offer right now for the starter kit and I'm actually using um, paper one of the designer series papers um, that come in one of the pieces of the starter kit. So our joining offer for the starter kit is $99. That is with free shipping. That's the key, free shipping. You get to choose $125 worth of product, but you also get a few extra freebies. Um, so this year, you get a free mini paper trimmer, which is awesome. It is the cutest size, not to mention it's perfect for card making, right, and on-the-go crafting. You will also get a sampler 6x6 pack of the Designer Series papers. Um, so you'll get a little bit of all of seven of the new Designer Series papers. And this Designer Series paper that we're using today is called Best Dressed. Um, in addition to these two freebies, you'll also get to choose a free stamp set of your choice from either the annual catalog or the mini catalog. Um, so it is an awesome deal. I will have a link in the description of this video um, to learn more about joining my team. You can join as a hobbyist just to get your discount on your products that you want on your wish list, or you can join um, to start your own business. Whatever you like is fine by me, um, but I definitely wanted to share that because it's an awesome deal for anybody that's been thinking about it. All right, let's jump in. Um, we are using Purple Posy, and this is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. I have a piece of Old Olive. This is two and a quarter by five and a half. I have a piece of the Best Dressed Designer Series paper that's two inches by five and a half. Let me give you a little preview of those papers. This is a six by six pack, so there are a lot of um, sheets in this pack, um, 48 to be exact. Um, so you can kind of see all the different sides. It is adorable. Very versatile. Um, I love the purples in this and the greens, and this one just screamed wedding uh, to me, so that's why I decided to do a wedding card today. I love this one as well. So many beautiful floral images or um, more, you know, fun pieces, and then just very subtle, versatile sheets in here as well. This is a pretty one too. So there is the best dressed paper. Um, I also have a scrap of petal pink. We're going to use that for our label. And then I have a medium whisper white envelope and another um, piece of the designer series paper that we're going to use to decorate our envelope. So let's go ahead. We can um, give our card base a nice burnish here. And we can actually go ahead and attach our designer series paper in our old olive. This is a very quick design, um, but I love, you know, how the paper just shines. Okay, so I'll probably, let's try to lay this down and I'm going to try to get it as straight as possible here. That looks pretty good actually. Okay, so now let's add some more glue. Okay, now we're going to add this to our base. We're going to put it a little bit over to show that beautiful purple posy. And again, I just have to pick it up to kind of check how straight I am. That looks pretty good. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead, let's stamp our sentiment. So I'm going to use the Memento Black, 
And again, this sentiment is out of So Sentimental. We're using this one here, wishing you much, much happiness today and always. Let's make sure I've got it going the right direction. We don't want to ruin. But actually, since I haven't die cut, we'd be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and stamp that down. Looks good. All right, now let's grab our die. We are going to use the large label here, which will just fit this perfectly. So let me grab my die cutting machine. You can use any die cutting machine that you have um, with our dies. Your sandwich just might be a little bit different than mine, um, but that is okay. All right, that looks good. Let's roll that through. Okay, my well-loved uh, plates here want to hold my stuff hostage. Okay. All right, so look at the cute little stitching. Isn't that adorable? All right. Let me grab some dimensionals now. We're going to put, oh, a few on here. There's never any harm in using your dimensionals. You get 300 uh, for like $4, so it's a great value. And they make your cards look awesome, right? Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and lay this down. That looks good right there. All right, and then I'm also going to stamp an inside sentiment, and I think I put the case away. Let me grab that. Yeah, I chose an inside sentiment from our Well Said bundle. This is a large bundle of 51 stamps. That is also a must-have. You've got so many words here you can pair together, and then you've got a bunch of sentiments for the inside. So we're going to use May the Rest of Your Lives Be the Best of Your Lives on the inside just to finish off um, our card. So we're going to ink that up in the memento as well, which I just re-inked, and it's so nice. I love a fresh, fresh ink pad. Perfect. Okay, so that is our card. Let's grab our envelope now. And this piece, as you can see, is a little bit short um, for the envelope, but that's okay. I'm actually going to leave a little bit of the white border here and there, um, but it'll just, you know, coordinate beautifully um, with the card, which I love. So we're going to add a touch of glue there. I try not to get it all over my desk, but who knows? I cannot guarantee that that won't happen. Yeah, I've got some. I can see. Ooh, see? I almost stuck it in there. Oh, I got lucky. Let me get that off my finger. Okay. Let me just grab my little snips here now, and we're just going to trim this right off. I'm going to get some glue here on, on my scissors. Okay, get that thrown out. And there you go. Look at our beautiful envelope and card. So I do hope you guys enjoyed um, today's video. You can find a full supply list um, in the description of this video. And as I mentioned about the starter kit, you can find those details as well in the description. If you do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them and I will definitely reply to you. Um, so thanks so much for watching and I look forward uh, to being back with you guys real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.